Hello everyone and welcome back to how, how to Build Your Character. My name is Kisanis and this is episode 10b. We are now cleaning up the character and we are moving along pretty well. We've got everything into our layers to make everything a little cleaner. Let me just shut off these blend shapes because who wants to see blend shapes? Alright, what we have to do now is we have to set up the visibility of the arm controls. And we didn't discuss this in the arm episode and we really should have, so I'm really sorry about that. You can see that right now um, this is set up with the FK controls on. You remember we built FK controls that went on each of these joints. And we cannot see the IK controls. If I switch this mode to 1, I do my IK FK switch, now we can no longer see the FK controls, but we can see the IK controls. And that's what we want to do. We want to set that up for our for this arm over here. I've currently got it turned off. I've, I've erased it. So it doesn't matter what we put it on. FK or IK, we can see all the controls. Now that is very confusing for your animator. You do not want that to be the case. You want to make sure that only the controls that they can use the time are visible. And this is really easy to take care of. Let me show you exactly how it's done. What we're going to do, and we've done it many times before, we are going to select our control. This is our control right here that we are using to switch back and forth between IK and FK. Uh, let me just go over here and check what this one here is. This one here is IK is to 1, okay, so let's go over here again, and we are currently set to 0. We're going to select this control, and we are going to go Animate, and we are going to say Set Driven Key, Set, and that's going to bring up a new window. This, our IK FK control right here, this attribute is our driver. We're going to drive the visibility of these other controls. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. With the IK, oh sorry, first thing we're going to do is with this selected, we're going to say load driver because this is actually what we're driving. Now we want to load the driven and what we're going to do is we're going to drive each and every one of these controls so all the FK, uh, we're always going to have the, uh, uh, we're going to stop right at the arm, we're not actually going to do the clavicle so all the FK controls and all the IK controls. So the first thing we'll do here with this set to zero, we're going to select this guy here and that is our wrist control and we're going to say load driven. That is our li lift, ah, pardon me, our wrist FK control. And what we want to do is whenever this value, whenever this value is set to zero, we want the visibility to be on. So with this visibility on, perfect, we're going to click this, click this and we're going to say key. And that is going to make a key point, you can see this is turned red, that means there's now a relationship between this control, this thing here is actually being affected by something else, there's a key frame on that, and it's being affected by this control. And let's do that for each of our things. Select the elbow, load driven, visibility, key, shoulder, load driven, visibility, key. Now we're going to go back and we're going to reverse it, so we're going to set this value here to 1. In that situation, we want our IK to be in control, so we're going to go to the wrist. I'm going to select the wrist again. I'm going to say load driven. I am then going to go over to this value over here, and I'm going to change it to 0. That is the off state of visibility, and I'm going to say, um, with visibility selected, I'm going to say key. I'm then going to select the elbow. I'm going to say load driven. I'm going to turn this value to 0 select the visibility and say key and lastly the shoulder once again change the visibility to zero make sure that it's the driven is the shoulder select visibility and say key now if I go back and forth between zero and one we should see our controls appear and disappear perfect so whenever we're set to one we only well we see the IK and whenever we set to zero we can see the FK now we want to do the exact same thing with the IK controls. So, I'm going to select this guy here. Uh, I want to set this value to 1. And I want to then select this guy here, which is my hand control for IK, and I want to load the driven. And whenever... Uh, load driven, and why is that already set? That visibility should not be set. But it is. Load the driven. With this guy here selected, make sure that I choose visibility and I say key. Alright, and now I'm going to turn it to the off mode. So I'm going to go select this guy here first, the thing. Put this to zero. And then select this guy here again. Set this to zero. This is already selected, visibility already selected. I'm going to say key. Okay, great. So now when we switch back and forth, we're going to see... Come on, you. 
oops, this thing. Now, whenever this thing is selected, we switch back and forth, we can see that we go back and forth between the IK and the FK. Perfect. The last thing we want to do is do it with the uh, pole vector right over here. Bam. We're going to load the driven. Whenever this value is set to, sorry, whenever this value is set to 1, we want this visibility to be turned on. So this is already set. I'm going to set the visibility. And I'm going to say key. And then I'm going to select this guy. I'm going to, oh, sorry, this guy here. I'm going to reverse it to 0. I'm then going to select this guy. And I'm going to reverse it to 0. So now the visibility is off. And I'm going to say key. Great. Now what we can see is everything goes on and off. When I have this control selected, everything will turn on and off. And your animator is only going to see the controls that they can use. That is perfect. Now you want to actually do this with both arms. Okay, you want to do it with both arms. Hello everyone, sorry about that abrupt cut. Uh, one of my babies started crying and I had to run off and turn off the video so you didn't hear her crying in the background. Anyway, uh, we are at the end of that video anyway. That was episode 10b and we're jumping around here. I'm doing rather short videos and that's because with the cleanup we're, we've got a lot of different ideas all coming together at the same time and I know you guys are very interested in in uh, making sure that you are animating as soon as you can so I'm trying to get these videos out for you as soon as I can. Uh, so we're gonna do a whole bunch of little short ones here you guys can watch them uh, individually and that way we won't be combining a whole bunch of different ideas. So if you followed along in that last video you set up an arm switch that can go back and forth between IK and FK and make the visibility of that better for your animator. That way the animator will not be confused as to what controls they're going to use. So in the next video we're going to be looking at these lines and they're unnecessary but we'll talk about those in the next video anyway. So my name is Kasanis. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't already done so, make sure you guys subscribe. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments and make sure you guys give me a big old thumbs up. It makes me feel really wonderful to know that you guys are learning from these videos. I will talk to you all very soon.